Today, I was hoping we could get into mobile machinery design a bit, Josh, specifically in how you properly deal with a piece of equipment when you're trying to control multiple actuators. Sure. There are a couple of methods to control multiple actuators from a common pump supply. The most simple is the monoblock valve, mm -hmm. which typically has a cast iron housing and a machine spool operated by a spring-centered lever. Okay. Uh, although solenoid operation is available with nearly every brand of valves. The monoblock valve uh, is available up to at least eight spools, each able to operate a function of their very own. Mm -hmm. The most basic of these valves have no auxiliary valves except maybe a relief valve um, that is common to all the pressure ports in every spool. Although rare, monoblock valves can be optioned with components at the inlet or work ports of the valves, such as pressure compensators or work port reliefs or counterbalance valves. Uh, if you are a mo mobile OEM with hundreds or thousands of the same configurations, a monoblock valve is the simplest and cheapest direction to take. What if you have more? Uh, what if you have a more demanding circuit? Right. Well, in that case, or where you have various machines with unique build requirements, sectional valves could be the product for you. Sectional valves, unlike stack valves, uh, are slices of individually packed spools held together horizontally with tie rods. Uh, they include both an inlet and outlet section. So if you require just one spool section, you still need an inlet and outlet sections for three sections and tie it all off with a tie rod kit. Um, sectional valves can be highly optioned with relief valves and pressure compensators, load sensing functions, work port auxiliary valves, you name it. Uh, a large OEM can stock dozens of individual components, and not unlike modular stack valves in the industrial industry, they create complex circuits on the spot. Um, there are almost no mobile machines without some valving located outside the centralized bank mm -hmm. to the actuators, but this method gives you a lot of options to minimize that. Okay. Well, I've heard about the uh, a power beyond option two. What does, how does that fit into the equation? Most mobile uh, directional valves come with a configuration using via a plug or a sleeve called Power Beyond. Uh, power Beyond is a difficult concept for those not familiar with fluid power uh, or for some who come from an industrial background. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike tandem center valves, which in the new, neutral position flow from pressure to tank, um, they allow you to use fixed pumps without any kind of unloading valves or uh, can use to direct uh, tank flow to downstream functions uh, Power Beyond allows you to hook up another downstream valve while leaving the first valve able to operate normally. Uh, a Power Beyond valve has three internal cores, the pressure core, mm -hmm. the tank core, and the through center core, um, also called the power core. If unused, the tank and through cores are open to each other in a common port and flow goes right back to tank as it would in a tandem center valve. Uh, however, uh, when Power Beyond adapter is installed, the through center core is separate from the tank core. Uh, the tank port of the first valve still needs to go directly back to tank, but the power core can now go to the next uh, pressure port of a downstream valve. So what's the advantage to Power Beyond? It's in allowing you to hook up optional sub-circuits to standard configurations, like adding a log lift function to your log splitter. Mm -hmm. The downsides are the extra plumbing, which lead to leaks, um, and the annoying effect of relating to the first valve uh, in the chain can to steel flow for its operations. Mm -hmm. Because the first valve has its own tank line, every function used by that valve diverts flow away from the second valve um, and just makes it go straight back to tank. So in running a motor function uh, on the Power Beyond side uh, and you decide to operate a cylinder on the first valve, mm -hmm. you will temporarily stall the motor until the lever on the upstream valve is released. Sounds good. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos, visit www.fluidpowerworld.com.